There's still no deal on the $450 million coronavirus aid package that would dump billions more into the federal small business loan program, which is so crucial to helping more people keep their jobs. Working for Chicago is our commitment to be there with reporting that will connect you with the information you need to bounce back from coronavirus losses. Our Vince Girasoli joins us live. Vince, what should business owners be doing right now to prepare? Well, Eric and Brad, right now it hasn't been approved, but all indications are Washington is going to be setting aside another $350 billion in PPP for small businesses. Those are those loans that they can get money to their workers, get them back to work, or at least give them some money so that they can purchase something, keep the economy rolling along. So we spoke to counselors today about how to best be prepared. And at the top of the list was be prepared to contact your bank, speak with your bank, and don't be shy about contacting them after you hand in your application at least once every two days by email. Don't be shy about calling them. If you are top of mind frequently, that could be the reason that you're finally approved by the process and pro processing your application. And also, start the application process now if you can. You should reach out to your bank, ask for a 15-minute meeting, whether it's virtual or in person, if they're still doing in-person meetings, and show them your previous application. Ask them to review it and to see if there was anything you could have done better to point out any possible weaknesses in it. This is also important to be prepared to justify the monies you're asking for with your calculations. That will give you a stronger application. A lot of small business operators are not used to having their hands out asking for these large sums of money, but counselors say you need to be assertive to save your business. This is not a time to give up. This is absolutely a time to be um, resilient, steadfast, and persistent. That was Rhonda McFarland with the Quad Communities Development Corporation giving us advice, the kind of advice she's been giving small businesses over the past few weeks as they try to navigate these very difficult times. Vince, does the size of the bank you are working with matter? You know, Erica, the best answer to that is perhaps. What's most important is that if you have a good relationship with your bank, you've been paying off loans and you have a strong payment history, if it's a large bank, maybe you should stay with it. But small banks have a really good track record at getting these PPP loans processed. Uh, I was actually talking to a fellow you know well, Brad Edwards, just a few minutes ago, uh, and he was able to put me in touch uh, with a bank uh, in Palatine that was able to process every single one of the PPP loans that came into that small bank. They were about 564 loans. Everyone was approved. When you go with a smaller bank, you have a better chance of being in touch with the actual person who's going to be making that decision. Like we said at the top of this report, there will most likely be another round of PPP funds totaling at least $350 billion. But the time is really right now to be prepared to make your application. All right, Vince, thank you.